All right, hello, so I'll be solving Fibonacci number and I think all of you guys know what Fibonacci numbers are. Uh, we've all done it in math class. Um, basically, we're adding um, the two preceding Fibonacci numbers. So for uh, Fibonacci of three, we're adding the Fibonacci of two plus Fibonacci of one. Okay. And let's start from recursive. So the first method would be recursive instead of going to dynamic programming right away because rec uh, dynamic programming is effectively recursive plus, oh, plus a memory function that we store the calculated values inside this memory so that we don't have to calculate the value over again. So let's do that recursive. Um, well, for the um, end that's equal to less, uh, yeah, that, we return n. When n equals 1, it's 1. And when n equals 0, it's 0. So return itself. And we're very simply return Fibonacci of the preceding two values. So recursively calling this. Uh, submit. Mm, we can see that we can further improve this because we're not storing the values that we have calculated so that so this runs very inefficiently basically so let's do a dynamic program uh, let's do bottom to top and what bottom to top means is that when we have a memory array new int of size 0 to 30 so it's 31 um, from bottom to top means that that we give the initial two values memo of 1 equals 1 and also return oh wait memo memo of n because the values that have not been calculated will have the default values of 0 but once we have calculated the values its values would not be 0 so we start from the bottom 2 all the way up to n so if equals if n equals 5 what we're doing is that we're building the um, memory array from 2 all the way to 5 so equals 2 all the way to i equals n okay memo of n is the pre previous two values memo of n memo of and minus two. Okay, and we return. Oh wait, why is it? We have to do I. Sorry. Summit. Okay, so we're building from bottom to top. Bottom to top. From i equals 2 to i equals n, if it's like 5. And let's do a top to bottom this time. So top to bottom is exactly the um, opposite. We're going from n to uh, 1. Oh no, 2, sorry. So n equals n equals, oh, value of n, let's say like 5 to 2. For me, like, personally, I think bottom to top, I mean, top to bottom is a little less easy, but it's basically the same thing. So, um, okay. We initialize those values. 
and else if we have calculated that value before again we return that value and else our Fibonacci of 5 would be recursively calling this function um, so n minus 1 fib of n minus 2 and storing the um, calculated values inside the memory array mm -hmm. so I guess the difference between bottom to top just now was that we didn't recursively call this function because the memory array from just now was built by a for loop but this time we're going from top to bottom by recursively calling our function until it reaches 0 or 1 and then we go back up the um, recursion okay and um, okay and the final method is doing the iterative method so let's do the iterative method and we can realize that we're using just two values here 0 and 1 and building this Fibonacci sequence until it reaches n so we can update these two values along the way by storing the previous Fibonacci sequences so I'll show you what I mean so initialize those two values first equals 1 well, this is fib of 0 and fib of 1. And we want to decrement our n until it reaches 2, uh, until it reaches um, 1. Oh, wait. Yeah, until it reaches 2. So greater than 1. And what we're going to do by decrementing n is building our Fibonacci sequence from 0 all the way to n and our a, our, the sum of the next Fibonacci sequence is a plus b and but a will carry forth the previous Fibonacci number so it's 1 and b will carry forth the new Fibonacci sequence so, um, just in case it's a little bit unfamiliar, let's do what this thing runs, plus a, okay, let's see what this runs, and return b, uh, run code. Okay, so I'm doing an edge case for 5. Okay, so 5 runs and our initial values are 0 and 1, right? So fib of 2 is effectively 1. And fib of 1 is stored in the value a, which is 1. I will be helpful if I do. This. So after each while loop, oh, okay. So that's when our loop runs for the first time. And a fib of that was fib of two. Fib of three would be fib of two and fib of one added together. So this was the the n minus 2 right and this is n minus 1 because it's 1 plus 1 so a will be carrying forth the fib of n minus 2 and b would be carrying forth the um, the newer one n minus 1 and we'll keep on updating it 
Okay. So you can see. Oh, give me a second. That. Oh. Crap, there was a fly. <laughs> Sorry. And so n equals 2 is 1, 3 is 2, and fib of 2 is 1, fib of 4 is 3, fib of 3 is 2. So we're bringing the values forth, and fib of 4, fib of 3. Okay, so I hope, I hope you guys understood a little bit better, and I'll see you guys next time.